okay, let's do this. Ah. In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of what I call the Reality Step on Earth Internet Ministry. I'm the gatekeeper of the host of this program, known here on social media. Wherever you may find me, I'm known as the Mighty One, Angel Snub Up Seven. I am also your soul brother, number one. Hey, hey, hey! Angel Snub Up Seven in the house. Just want to make a quick commentary. And, uh, Hold on a second. Uh, trying to do a little something, something here. Okay, look. There are many people who listen to my words, especially when I speak about Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam. The words that come out their mouth is that I am jealous and I am a hater, I'm envious, I'm a hypocrite, <laughs> and the list goes on and on. A disgruntled employee, and the list goes on and on. The number one reason, besides Louis Farrakhan, is an incompetent leader. He has no vision, he has no creativity, he is trying to follow somebody that is deceased. There is no evidence that this man, Elijah Muhammad, is alive. And even if he is alive, when somebody has been missing, when they have not been missing, they've been all off the scene for as long as Elijah Muhammad has, since 1975, he might as well be declared dead. He does not exist. Elijah Muhammad, there is no new no new writing by Elijah Muhammad. There's new no new tapes, videotapes of Elijah Muhammad. Because he is no longer here. He served his time. And like all of us, yes, he did depart. Depart permanently. So, so Farrakhan is a liar. He's a liar. And what Elijah Muhammad, what Louis Farrakhan and many preachers do, they lie. They lie to you and me Even we can even begin to walk good, they lie to us and tell us of this supernatural being that's supposed to look out for us and if we're good, we have a great reward with this being. I am not jealous of Farrakhan or any preacher. What I am, what I am and have a problem with is they're telling us lies. Salute brother Michael. It's a lie. I'm gonna show you real quick why it's a lie. And you can be a believer in God all you want. 
I have no problem with that. But I need to speak out against this lie, because that's what it is, so other people don't fall victim to this fantasy and this fairy tale, these false hopes and dreams, like I spent most of my life believing in these false hopes and dreams. It's a lie. Your God has no power. It's a lie. Louis Farrakhan takes it one step further and he says that he is the Christ and he's connected to those who control earthquakes and hurricanes and tornadoes and so forth. Nothing come into existence Nothing happens without the permission of your God. That's what you say. So, Hurricane Dorian just caused much havoc in the Bahamas. I'm very sure that many Muslims, many Christians, and other believers in God lived on that island. The hurricane went through the Bahamas and 70% 70, 70 of that island is underwater. Over 10 people have been killed and the death toll is rising. This is your God. Why didn't your God, knowing that believers in him or her, whatever your God is, why didn't the hurricane skip over the Bahamas? Matter of fact, why is your God murdering you, killing you? Because your God is the one that creates the hurricanes and the floods and the tornadoes and whatever. Louis Farrakhan say that he's connected to those who create the, the snowstorms and the, the blizzards, the earthquakes, the forest fires, and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, if Farrakhan is really connected to that kind of power, then why don't you call a snowstorm, a blizzard, a hurricane before the National Weather Service? They always taking credit for a hurricane or earthquake or whatever natural disaster after the fact. Well, God is doing this and God is doing that. Why don't you call it before it happened? Show us the power of your God. He's connected. He said that he's connected to those who can do this. Then the only thing, those who do this, is send him a letter <laughs> or, or email or give him some kind of dream or whatever, however they communicate and let him know that in the middle of July, I, God, is going to make it snow. If your God is that powerful, tell your God to show the power that this God has. Make it snow, make it blizzard in the middle of July in Chicago. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. In a half mile, keep to the left on I-55. Now, you're going to always ask me, prove it. Show me some receipts. Show and prove. That's what you will ask me. To the left on I-55, I-70. You ask everybody, any ordinary man, you ask them, show you, prove it. Show the receipts. Speed warning. But when it comes to this God, you don't ask for nothing. You never ask for receipts. You never ask this God to show and prove. 
tell your God Speed warning. to destroy all nuclear weapons on the earth right now. Your God should have that kind of power. Nobody should have nuclear weapons. Nobody. Tell your God to destroy, get rid of all nuclear weapons. It's not going to happen. You know it and I know it. You The only thing you're going to do is make an excuse. Tell your God to show and prove. Just like you tell me. It's simple as that. Because if your God can show and prove, there's nothing I <laughs> what what can I say? If it's if it's if there's a blizzard, if you tell your God to cause a blizzard in the middle of July, what can I say? Your God show and prove. Speed warning. There's nothing else I can say. Like, wow, okay. Your God has never, never shown any kind of power. None. The preacher and the pastors, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, whatever religion, all these, they don't give a damn about you. They only want to praise them for doing nothing. All these guys do nothing. All these Christians in hospitals filled with cancer. They can't see. They blind. They can't walk. They got diabetes. Liver cancer. Colon cancer. Filled with all kinds of diseases. Where your damn God at? Minister Louis Farrakhan got prostate cancer. How come your God can't help you? You run into the damn hospital, Farrakhan. Explain that. Make your master Farah Muhammad show and prove. Show his power. That's why I'm upset. Speed warning. It's time that y'all grow up and let all this kindergarten ass stuff go. There is no God. There is no power. You're lying to yourself. You're a liar and you're telling these children lies. You're an outright liar. And you should be ashamed of yourself. Because you know you're a liar. Now if you want to if you want to live with false hopes and dreams, that's your own damn business. You run around here forcing this these lies on on innocent children. Speed warning. You should be charged with child abuse. Y'all a bunch of fakers, you're a bunch of liars, deceivers, because you know it's a lie. We don't have to do, we don't have to debate nothing. The only thing you got to do is show the power of your God. You have yet to show this power of this God. Nothing. I have a question. Do I believe in heaven and hell or conditions of life? Please station ahead. Speed warning. I would say that heaven and hell are conditions of life. But when you talk about heaven and hell, you're talking about a particular making making such a particular place. And there is no place. There's no geography. When, you're, when you are alive, sometimes things are, are nice, and then sometimes you suffer. That's just life. That's just the way it is in this reality. On the earth, you have famine. On the earth, you have you have certain conditions that we have to put up with because this this planet is always changing. That's just life. Now you got people that can give you hell because they're greedy. It's plenty of earth, plenty of food, plenty of everything on the planet. But you have certain creeps, greedy ass folks, hoarders. They want to try to take everything for themselves. And they want to control what you do. 
Why do we believe in these religions? Chances are these religions was forced on people thousands of years ago. That's the reason why we believe in these gods. And don't blame the white man because this religious, this God garbage was going on way before the Picklewood came into power. They was forcing people right here on native soil in Africa, all around the world. You got some suckers that created this God crap, most times out of ignorance. And then the powers that be found out that you can control people with religion and that religion makes you docile. The people won't rise up against oppression. They said, uh, religion and spirituality are tools to make you docile, make you easily control. Wherever you find so-called spirituality, Wherever you find the belief in God, the people are easily controlled. They are dominated. They are, they are in a slave-like condition. They are in suffering. Wherever you find spirituality. That's right, Laura. It was meant for control. That's what it was meant for, designed for. I would assume that it originally came into existence because people, ancient people were just ignorant of their environment. And they made up, they made up stuff so they could understand the sun and the moon and the grass and whatever. They made up stuff. But we're no longer ancient. We know about the sun, we know about the moon, the giraffe and the gorillas. We know about the water. We know about floods and tornadoes. We know about these things. And of course you know, millions and millions of people have been murdered because of religion. Keep to the right on I-255. Religion, keep to the left in 0 .3 religion is be behind human sacrifice, Spirituality, religion behind human sacrifice. Keep to the right on I 255. Innocent people have been murdered throughout time. But the main thing is that you have a group of people who use religion and spirituality to feed you false hopes and dreams. Keep to the left on I 255 South. And they learn how to make money off of your suffering. That's what they have done. They make money off your suffering. Tricksters. So Farrakhan is rich, but I guarantee you, the majority of those who listen to his words, they are not rich. Why aren't they getting rich? Only the preachers and the pastors. Because they're telling you lies. Speed warning. You will get yours later on. Work hard enough while they beg you for your, your dollar. You got to work hard. The only thing they got to do is give you a pretty ass speech that takes no effort. You got to work hard. And maybe one day God will bless you. Because they know if you don't do it yourself, it's not going to get done. I heard a brother talk about, let's have faith in God and how God is going to de defend you against your enemy. I have yet to see Continue God control. defend you Please against your enemy. Miles. All these mass shooters, Speed warning. wouldn't you say that the mass shooters are an enemy? Wouldn't you say that a good majority of the people that these mass shooters killed was believers in God? And you telling me that God can defend you? But where was he then? 
all these believers in God, Christians and Muslims or whatever, they land on the ground with bullet holes all in their backside, all in their head. But you tell me, you're gonna tell me this God gonna defend you against your enemy. What fantasy world you live in? Stop the lies. Stop the lies. You're a liar. You're an outright liar. It's lies. I will be doing a disservice to future generations to be silent and warn them and tell them about these lies they are being told. There is no God. That's a lie. Y'all liars. Warning. Prove me wrong. Show us the power of God. Show and prove. Shut me up. I'll be happy to shut up. I'm not doing this because out of hate. Yeah, I, I, I do too. I hate the word God too, uh, Scott. I do. Speed warning. I don't hate nobody. I'm not jealous of nobody, not envious of nobody, but it's time for the lies to stop. It's very easy. Tell your God to show power. Speak warning. This God has never shown any power. Y'all keep talking about what God can do and the power of God. Show it, let's see it. You give credit to God that God did not earn because there's no evidence that God controlled tornadoes or hurricanes or, or none of this stuff. In a quarter of a mile, keep to the left on I-255 South U.S. 50 West. I'm, I'm angry and I'm upset because as a child, y'all told me a lie. You lied to me. And I really believed in this God. Continue on this world for four I really believed in the Holy Ghost and Master Farad Muhammad. I believed in those things. I put a lot of effort and work. And you made me a liar. You made me a liar. Speed warning. I'm going around telling people the glory of God. But at the same time, I was thinking to myself, I don't see this power. I don't see it. So I guess you have to believe in the power that don't exist, just like you believe in the God that don't exist. Again, that's your business. As a grown man, as a grown man, as a grown woman, you want to keep believing them lies, that's your business. But you should be shame of yourself to keep spreading this damn lie. And you know it's a lie. I would debate anybody on this issue. Anybody to show me the power of your, your God. You're not gonna debate me on that because there's nothing to debate. The first thing I'm gonna ask you is bring your God. Bring your God on the live screen. And uh, I want your God to do something to show your show the power right here on the spot. I'm gonna put your God right there on the spot. Nothing to argue, nothing to debate. Put your God on the spot right now. Make it snow. Make an earthquake right now. Let's do it. Make the earth make the earth spin faster. Show us your power. Your God can't do nothing. It's a it's a lie. Your Jesus, your Allah, your Yashara, your whatever it is, have no power. You personally met God. You have a personal connection to God. How? How? How is that possible? God don't exist. You pretending. 
you're pretending to have a connection to somebody, something that don't even exist. I have a personal connection to Michael Jackson. One mile. Take exit 17 It's more real for me to have a personal connection to Michael Jackson because at least we know that Michael Jackson did exist. I have an emotional connection to Michael Jackson. You, it's impossible for you to have a connection to somebody you never met. You don't know nothing about. In a half mile, take exit 17A, IL 15 East Belleville. Missouri Avenue. You have been lied to. We have been tricked. You are an adult. Get out of Disneyland. Please. Stop it. Stop telling this lie. To children, stop telling this lie to yourself. Because it's quite clear your God has no power. Show me then. In one mile. Turn left on Racehorse Drive. Where are the receipts at? Where are the actions at? Show us. This God, do, during no time in history, no matter who the people are, this God never showed any power. That's right, Scott. No more fairy tales. No more feel-good rhetoric. It's over. Speed warning. Even your even your Bible said, you Christians, whatever was in the was ever in the dark shall come into the light. That's the reason why you hear what you hear right now. It's time for all this stuff, the cloak, in the half mile, turn left to come off all of it. Speed warning. That's right, brother Scott. It's a wrap. It's not only me. More and more people is discovering it's In these lies. Turn left on Racehorse Drive. It's a lie. I'm not the only one. More and more people stop going to church. Stop going to the mosque. Stop going and not believing no more. Time, time has shown it's all a lie. It's time. It's time to get real. It's time to accept reality. Embrace things for what they really are. Fictional, fictional solutions cannot solve real problems. We're dealing with real problems here. And your fictional belief, belief in God and all that other fantasy stuff y'all believe in is not gonna get the job done. It's just not. It's just not. Has nothing to do with hate. Approaching destination in a quarter of a mile on the left side. Has nothing to do with hate, jealousy, or whatever. But it has a lot to do with you telling an outright lie. That's the problem. You're telling a lie. Approaching destination. And see, the thing about it the is outside. most of you know it's a lie. You're liars. And I'm not going to sit around here and be silent and let, let you lie like you, you're spreading some kind of truth. Your God has no power. In 900 feet, if we, right on New Missouri If Avenue, you don't change the condition 15. yourself, if you don't do something, it's not going to get done. That's just the bottom line. Approaching destination in 900 feet. And on, on that note, side. on that note, I'm going to be Audi 5000. Got some things to do. Business to take care of like most of us have to do. But it's, it's really sickening, really. Need to stop, I mean, this fairy tale stuff. 
I'm not going to be quiet on this subject because I wish there was somebody when I was a little child, when I was a baby, I wish there was somebody I could have heard to tell me, to give me the heads up. Hey, that stuff not true. Them, those lies. And you lie with a smile on your face. Woo! You're manipulating. Then you have the nerve to talk about a devil. You a devil. You, you are Lucifer. You're Satan. Spreading these lies. What make you different than any other devil out there? Really? Anybody, any y'all suckers, and you have to be a sucker to keep believing in this nonsense. You want to debate me on the belief in God? Bring it. You're not going to last five minutes because you, your God got to show some power. I'm not talking about what you think. What you believe. We want to see your God in action. Show and prove right now on the live stream. Bring your God ass before the people and show them that you're real. Otherwise, sit your happy ass down. It's simple as that. No more false hope. We need real hope. We need, we need to be able to, to make real dreams come true. You've been around talking this God stuff for thousands of years. It's time for that crap to stop. After, after thousands of years, it's very clear it's a lie. What was in the dark shall come into the light. It's a lie. You should be shame of yourself. That's right. The pimp game is over. All these preachers and pastors need to be thrown off the pulpit and kicked in the ass. Stop giving these suckers your money because they can talk pretty. The hell with them. What are you really getting out of it? Nothing. Really think. Use your brain. Think about it, brothers and sisters, soul brothers and sisters. Think about it. Look at how long you've, you have uh, believed in this God. What have you really gotten? Nothing. Except some feel-good crap. Look at Malcolm X. Malcolm X believed in God. Oh Allah, Master Farah Muhammad. Where was God when they sprayed him with them shotgun shells? Where was God when they threw a Molotov cocktail through, through his house, endangering not only him, but his wife and children? Where was God when they tried to poison him when he went overseas? Where was the God, Malcolm? It's a lie. You own your own. No God gonna protect you. God not gonna do a damn thing for you. Where was God, Dr. King, when you came out on the, on the balcony and they shot you in the damn neck? Where was God at, Dr. King? Where was God, slave? 300-some years. Where was God at? Being raped and murdered. All kinds of evil being done to you. The only reason why you're not a slave now is not because of God, because these demons had a civil war. And it still don't mean too much. Because you still caught hell. Yeah, you're not a physical slave no more. But you're still catching hell even to this day. Where is our God at that's supposed to help us? The reality of it, if there is any God, the God is you. The God is me. If we don't change it, it's not going to get done. Master Farah Muhammad, Allah, 
Jesus, whatever God that you believe in, clearly not going to do a damn thing for us. So don't bring me that crap. I'm open for debate, the challenge. Your God has got to show and prove. Just like the brother said, the pimp game is over. If we don't change it, it's nothing's going to happen. That's just the bottom line. On that note, let me get out of here. Y'all have a nice day. And uh, I want to thank uh, YouTube for giving me this opportunity. Thank the brothers in the chat room, Brother Michael, Scott, Laurel, everybody. And uh, I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings. I'm not trying to be mean, but we grown now, y'all. We need to do better. We're not children anymore. Let's grow up and take care of business. Thank you. Right. As important, I wish us love, peace, and so <laughs> I will, Brother Michael. I'm out. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, brothers.